giant crane uh, chiseling the face off Mount Rushmore off. That's just they've they've now moved it aside, so I can see the sun again. Okay, well we'll try to we'll try to keep following that. It's Madras, Oregon, uh, which is an odd name for an Oregon Oregonian town. I thought it was in India, Madras, but they have got their their partial eclipse is getting bigger because uh, it looks like now the moon is partially obscuring the top right hand corner of the sun. And oddly enough, it 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 looks like uh, oh, well, that's topical enough. It looks it looks like a face with a kind of Hitler haircut coming down it. Uh, that's uh, that's very topical. Uh, Mark Stein in, and the, the, it's very very simple. All you got to do is go to RushLimbaugh.com and become a Rush 24/7 subscriber. And if you if you subscribe to Rush 24/7, it means what it says. You get Rush 24 hours a day. Seven days a week, 365 days a year, including in the two minutes and 45 seconds of a solar eclipse. All you've got to do is for Rush 24-7, and you need never again be discombobulated by a sinister foreign guest host. Mr. Mr. Snadley, when is the official date of Rush's return, by the way? He'll be he'll be back a week today, so he's just taking a week off. So if you're worried about this total eclipse, America being plunged into darkness, it will lift at about uh, 11:57 uh, Eastern time next Monday. That's uh, we should be well out of it by then. And who's uh, who's coming in later this week among the among the guest hosts? Oh, Todd Herman. Okay, okay, okay. From Seattle. Okay, he's probably enjoying the eclipse right now. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, interesting. It used to be uh, so. There'll be some variety in the lineup of leaden guest hosts in the course of the week. I'm still mad at Mike not playing that uh, Bonnie Tyler total eclipse. So once upon a time there was light in my life. Now there's only guest host called Mark. Yeah, grim. Uh, let's go to Bradley in someone else to assassinate him. So she's just hoping there's like a Lee Harvey Oswald out there listening who will rise to the occasion and take out the president so that she doesn't have to do it herself. And this woman, this went on back and forth for four days until now she has finally apologized and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll read, we may get to read her uh, apology uh, later on the show. I've got it around here somewhere. 